a new day Pull your bridges up and tie your shoelace Don't worry about them haters, send them bouquets Get that dough in a few ways Everybody, this is Alvin Brown, CEO and founder of the Center for Healing and P-Performance And I'm an integrated performance consultant and advisor And in that role, what I've been doing for the last 22 years I've been helping my clients to achieve optimal health, P-Performance And to pursue what brings them most joy in life And in that time period, I've had the pleasure of helping a lot of my clients Move from a mere dream to the reality of becoming NHL hockey players They've also gone on to become fitness professionals with a strong brand. They've also moved to become orthopedic surgeons and doctors. It's been an amazing run and I've been super passionate about it and that's what keeps me going. All right, I'm also the author of Journey to Personal Greatness, Mind, Body and Soul. It's a blueprint for life balance and self-mastery. It's available at all your major bookstores, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million and Amazon and in Canada, chapters in to go online. All right, so in case you're first time, let me tell you how I flow. I give you three videos a week. This community, we drive ourselves with three videos a week. Monday, Monday Mindset, a little checkup from the neck up, give you some information on mental and emotional balance. One tip, one strategy is all it takes to turn your game around, and that's what I did for myself, so I wanna share that with you. Wednesday, Hump Day Hustle today. What we wanna talk about is structure, function, nutrition. How do we get the body running right so we can drive hard and not lose anything, our health, the most important part. And Saturday, Soulful Saturday, we go inside and we talk about the soul, how to, rem how to feel abundant, like you deserve everything that's coming to you and don't push it away in self-sabotage. Also talk about remaining authentic, authentic to who you really are so you never forget it when you get to that finish line. And the last one we talk about is relationships. How do you maintain good, solid relationships around you, your ecology, the people around you that meant something when you started, you want them to be there at the end and you don't want to lose them. So that's what we talk about. I give you a little nudge. That is my passion. That is my duty I feel and my service to you. All right, so this is Humpty Hustle. Let's talk about this. I'm bringing back Julia, if you watched my video last week. Julia is a health consultant, a nutritional consultant. And she, Julia is super passionate about, I've never met anyone who, she doesn't even need a script. She <laughs> just flow, because the, the information just comes out of her. She's just coming through her pores. So I wanted to, I've been watching her for a few good years now. She's, she's also a fitness competitor, one of the fitness competitors. So she lives her, her talk. She walks her talk. And so she's competing in this year, and I have her in for treatments, and I thought I'm gonna sneak her in here, finally get her on camera, and share her knowledge and her passion with you. So she's here to t today to talk about the miracle of magnesium. It's an often overlooked nutrient, and I want her to touch on that topic. So here we go, Julia. Thanks, Alvin. Right. This is actually my favorite mineral. All I right. love talking about this mineral. Uh, I just want to lay some groundwork for what we're going to talk about. Yeah. So first of all, minerals do not get manufactured within the food that that they were fa they're found in. So broccoli doesn't make iron, okay, doesn't make B12. Mm. We The food gets its nutrients from the soil that it's grown in. Okay, the same thing with trees. It, the roots go down to the soil. The soil sends the nutrients up through the root, the trunk, into the leaves, the stem. So when you pick an apple off the stem, when it's not ripe, it doesn't get ripe because you've taken it away from its nutrition source, mm -hmm. okay? So magnesium is one of two minerals that is very depleted from our soil. Therefore, it's not in the food. Therefore, it's not in us. So we've seen in North America a huge rise in magnesium deficiency. Upwards of 90% of North mm. Americans are mm. deficient in this mineral. The other mineral, by the way, for those who are curious, is zinc. Uh, but that's like a whole other talk. Mm. Uh, so magnesium is one of my most favorite because it actually applies to a lot of ailments that most people are suffering from these days. If you can't sleep, if you can't fall asleep and you can't stay asleep, magnesium. If you can't go to the bathroom, magnesium. If you experience symptoms of stress and anxiety, magnesium. The correlation between anxiety and magnesium is so strong that researchers can actually purposefully induce a state of anxiety in a lab rat simply by depriving it of magnesium. Mm. So if you are somebody that feels anxious all the time, take some magnesium, drink it as a tea. It does come as tea. Take it as a supplement. If you are having these signs of deficiency, trying to eat enough magnesium isn't going to cut it for you. Again, if it's missing from the soil, it's missing from the food. And so you're gonna sit there and eat way more food than what you need to get an optimum level of this mineral. Mm. Okay, it is a mineral, by the way, it's not a vitamin. So 
we can talk about that for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So vitamins can be water or fat soluble, but minerals work a little bit differently. They don't absorb in the body based off a fat or based off water. Um, you do need optimal digestion, okay? When people don't eat properly and then they get burpy and gassy, uh, these are all signs that you have indigestion. And if you're not digesting properly, then you're not gonna be able to absorb this puppy. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't notice that they have indigestion, by the way, you can say, Oh, like, do you burp? Do you get gassy? And they say no. And then they belch <laughs> and we're completely disassociated, yeah. disassociated from these bodily functions. Right, right. Okay. So if you're having digestive issues, you're probably having absorption issues. Okay. First and foremost. And so you're probably not absorbing this bad boy, but yeah. it is really important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, magnesium. So you're saying what, what are some of the, most popular that an average person would notice like oh yeah that's me which one other than the sleep yeah so if you can't people, that's fall asleep or yeah. stay asleep fall asleep and stay asleep this is key because this is why a lot of people come into me and say that's a that's a that's a hang on to that definition because that's a key fall asleep and staying asleep yes yeah that's the magnesium and what else it's the magnesium anxiety anxiety Right? Those are the two keys that's If you feel, to. yeah, if you feel anxious or just <gasps> at yeah. any point, you need to take magnesium. And I, can I just also please point out that these are not pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. so there is no quick fix. Okay, you, you're that's not gonna take point. it Monday and then all of a sudden Tuesday your life is better. Yeah. You might wake up and have a bowel movement. Mm -hmm. You might fall asleep really well Monday night, right. but you do need to continually take it yeah. to see the effects and some people, those who are really deficient in magnesium need to take it for months yeah. before the majority of their symptoms are cleared up. What about restless leg syndrome? Totally, oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so restless leg syndrome, you can, you, some people get it all the time during the day and a lot of people experience it mostly at night mm -hmm. and it's sort of this fidgety feeling in your legs where they can't come down. Some people describe it as like, yeah, like kicking or like yeah. ants running through their yeah. kneecaps. Yeah. So if you are somebody that experiences this, this is going to help you with mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. probably in a larger dose than what mm -hmm. is recommended on the bottle. Right. Um, but magnesium for sure, for restless legs, yeah. uh, headaches. Headaches, if you get headaches, any kind of headache, especially tension, mm -hmm. magnesium will help with that. Yeah. Again, because of its muscle relaxing properties. Mm -hmm. So people who experience frequent or even occasional headaches, take magnesium. You can also get magnesium topical, mm. okay? Right. You can find gels and oils. So you can rub it on your temples. You can rub it on the back of your neck. For those who have restless leg syndrome that don't want to take it internally, some seniors mm -hmm. take a lot of medications and for them to take something else internal is not really going to work for them. Mm -hmm. Or for people that have IBS and just have very sensitive stomachs, you can fa find magnesium that you mm -hmm. use topically. You can also put it in the bath. Right. And I'm not just talking about the salts, right. although that's a good idea too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you can take the magnesium and like rub it on top of your kneecaps or all over your legs. Um, it's much better in the more uh, sensitive areas of the body, like the thin skin of your forearm, as opposed to the tougher areas. But if you are having muscle tension, if you've pulled a muscle, you can use it topically on those areas as well. Okay. And dosage. Okay. So if you are deficient, the typical dosage on the bottle probably is not going to cover it. What's the typical, about 400? Uh, well, if it's a, uh, no, they start as low as 150. Right. If you get a cheaper magnesium, they do put 400 in mm -hmm. just because you need that much more to get an effect. Okay. Uh, 150 to 200 is typical. It says take one. I don't know who that's going to help. I would take two or three at least to mm -hmm. start and yeah. then keep going. If you're going to start overdosing, it might be helpful to just do it under the guidance of a practitioner or somebody that's familiar that's with key. dosing yeah. um, because you do want to look out for symptoms that maybe you're taking too much. Although with magnesium, the number one symptom that you've taken too much is like a giant bowel movement, Yeah, which can like never be a bad thing. Right. Exactly. And I got to back up just a touch because when I post videos on nutrition, we often get questions that are specific to a certain person and their condition. Mm -hmm. Here's my default. Here's our default. If you're unsure, if you got a special condition, diabetics absorb differently as well. Totally. Think yep. of that. Different metabolic conditions going on with you specifically. 
this is where we would say see a practitioner. Although Julia will recommend a certain dosage on here, she's assuming you're a healthy individual uh, with no other complications, no other factors. But the default, see a practitioner, get your team, build your team of therapists, massage, chiro, mm -hmm. physio, nutrition, naturopath, all of them. Get a team of people. All right. Yeah, this is an excellent point, Alvin. Everybody's very biochemically different. Yeah. And so what works amazing for somebody yeah. might not work as amazing for somebody yeah. else. And so if you yeah. do work with somebody, they can kind of guide you through all that and get you over all those kinks so that you're yeah. finding something that better suits your needs. Okay. It's a valid point, yeah. I have a question about cal CalMag, calcium magnesium. You often see them together. Yes. Should you, is that the combo? Should they, how about, are we ever deficient at is, is, are we deficient because we're having our milk? Are we, are, we def, are we deficient in magnesium ever? I mean calcium? Do we, should we get the two in combo? Okay, if you, you're typically not ever deficient in calcium, yeah. but what you are deficient in is the ability to absorb. The, so the cofactors that go along with the calcium, which is kind of a whole other tack. Right. Uh, magnesium is one of the main cofactors. So what, mm -hmm. I, what I mean when I say this term is the accessory nutrient, the mm -hmm. helper. Um, you can, yeah, calcium magnesium is very beneficial for people that have um, leg, uh, like spasms. Yes. Okay. Uh, at night. Yeah. Um, the calcium magnesium is also very good for people that are at risk or have osteoporosis. There's a couple other key nutrients though that those, that particular target audience would require mm -hmm. to be optimal, like mm -hmm. vitamin K. Right. Again, a whole other topic. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're looking for the sole benefits of magnesium, you can take it just on its own. Mm -hmm. If you want the benefits of magnesium, yeah. by the way, it is responsible for over 300 chemical reactions in your body. So when you are deficient in it, just think about the domino effect that that, mm -hmm. like, yeah. that will occur, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's a lot of things that will get thrown off. Yeah. The, the relationship with calcium in terms of bone building is just one of the 300 mm -hmm. reactions mm -hmm. that it's responsible for. So yeah. there's 299 yeah. that it's also contributing to that on its own, it will still do. Yeah. If you're concerned about bone health, you can yeah. take your calcium magnesium in the morning or yeah. at lunch. And then yeah. if you're concerned about anxiety and sleep and yeah. restless legs, yeah. you can take just magnesium in the evening. Great. Awesome. Yeah. And can you get it, what are, to kind of just wrap it up a bit, what what are the natural, what can you get it in? What are foods, do they have to take a supplement or is there a- If you're deficient, a, I, have, I have to be honest, yeah. If you're deficient, yes. If you want to maintain, if, if you feel great and you're just like, man, I need some extra magnesium, you can get it through cauliflower, leafy greens are very good in it, like the veggie situation, right, right. not so much the fruit. Uh, right. Almonds are a good source of it. If you're an almond eater, I would soak them. They tend to digest a little bit easier. That's just a side tidbit. Right. Um, meat, not so much. Right. Not that I'm saying don't eat meat. I'm a yeah. giant meat eater. Yeah. I'm just saying if you have a heavy a diet that's heavy in right. meat and less of the veg, right. it's probably, yeah. yeah. All right, that's awesome. And anything else you wanna throw in about magnesium uh, that they should know before we go and, and these are the if there's anything we miss free feel free to post I'm gonna be connecting with Julia to answer your questions and to shoot it back at you so and you know post away yeah I'll just add one more thing yeah one more. I just want to say in general all supplements are not created equal so if you do choose to buy a magnesium supplement I would go to a reputable health supplement store and not just something that's generic because you will get what you pay for Okay. And what we might do then, I'm gonna ask Julia to, yeah, maybe for this video, because this video, we'll get her to do that. A couple of good uh, companies, and now we're not promoting any one company in particular, but a couple of good brands that they can look at. You can use as like guidance. Guidance, yeah. Yeah, don't be a scared, a scared, yeah. don't be afraid, yeah. to like ask, the person that works at your supplement store, their opinion, yeah. chances are they've gotten feedback from a lot of other customers as well. Yeah. And that practical knowledge is invaluable. And don't be afraid to spend a little bit on your health. A lot of times when I'm talking with people and they'll say, you know, oh, it's so expensive. I'm, so I want them, I usually ask them, do me a favor. Tell me how much, just a, a number, throw me out of the number what your health is worth. And then and, and we can start working from there. 
And if you can actually put a number on what your health is worth, that's amazing. I don't think there's any number. So don't be also afraid it, when you start checking out brands, the best brands cost a little bit more. You're, you're putting reason. it in, in your, your body. body. Right, and you're looking for optimal health, peak yeah. performance. That's what we're talking about. All right, so Julia, how can they get a whole... By the way, Julia also does speaking events. She speaks to groups, uh, companies, if you want her. You can visit her website and she's gonna let you know what that is. But yeah, she's an engaging speaker, so think about having her at your office. Thanks. Right. Yeah, you can get a hold of me at uh, my website, which is www.jknutrition.ca. Nice and easy, nice and easy. All right, and if we can help you out in any way, visit our website, the Center for Healing and Peak Performance.com, join the personal greatness.com. Because remember, what we're doing all this information is because I want you to be relentless about your pursuit for what brings you joy in life. And we call that personal greatness. Until Saturday, have a great week. Today's a new day. Pull your bridges up and tie your shoelace. Don't worry about them haters. Send them bouquets. Get that dough in a few ways. Pack your tears up inside your suitcase.